comes out sooner. Uh, thank you, MC, for today. Um, <clears throat> the Chancellor of this great university, uh, Uganda Pentecostal University, Professor Dr. Maggie Chigozi, uh, the Chairman of the Council, Dr. Karima, the Vice Chancellor uh, of UPU, uh, Professor Perosi Ntambirichi, uh, board members represented here, council members, the Prime Minister of this mighty kingdom, Honorable Hunda, Member of Parliament, and, and, and a distinguished uh, member of this university. Uh, my colleague, uh, Onesimus Mujeni, uh, Professor Onesimus Mujeni, uh, Professor Onesimus Mujeni was made a professor from this university. Stand up for recognition. <laughs> and we work together at the mighty accord. Uh, yes, it is. But I'm not the best person to market it. Um, the staff of this university, uh, the students' body of this university, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, I think this is the day that the Lord has made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. You receive it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, honestly, uh, so my name is Dr. Binomcha. I'm the executive director of ACCORD. Uh, ACCORD is a public policy research think tank based in Kampala but working in East and Southern Africa. And the late Professor John Tamrechi was our chairperson from the inception up to when he passed on. Please recognize him. And under his leadership, ACCORD rose in the ranks to become one of the leading think tanks in the world. We have been number one think tank in this country because we are ranked globally for over 10 years. And we don't take that for granted. We thank God for the leadership, that stable leadership. Uh, I'll talk uh, 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 briefly about John and Accord. Uh, we, as an organization, we see ourselves as a pro-democracy think tank and therefore we work to democratize, promote transparency and accountability in the governance of these countries that are emerging democracies. It is not easy. So June paid a very big price uh, to keep a court afloat. I don't know how many times uh, the government <laughs> wanted to close us, uh, especially when we ventured in areas uh, that were not... Uh, those days were not conventional. We asked hard questions. Uh, now, this information I'm giving you is uh, uh, is a qualified privilege. I think the lawyers would say that so that it will stay it will stay here. So if you are here and you are a journalist, this is of what of record. It is for John because I cannot keep it or die. Uh, 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 so if you are a government person, you are here. Well, of course, we are not anti-government, but we need to know the history and know the man. So a court sometimes, and you know the president also came to parliament, I said, a court has bribed the members of parliament. This is when we are pioneering on our work in promoting transparency and accountability in the oil exploration, when oil was being explored. And most of the production sharing agreements were not open. And we were pushing parliament and did government to open up. Because these production sharing agreements were not known to us here, but they were listed in London on the stock exchange. And, uh, uh, and of course, of that, uh, we had a lot of friction, but we knew what we were doing. And several times, uh, uh, they would want to cross us, but John would go there and, uh, and, 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 and uh, assure the government that actually we are, not, we are not subversive. We are just doing a noble job. Yes, I remember one time I was traveling out of the country. I was already in the in the lounge at the airport, and the chairman of the NGO bureau called me and said, "Where are you?" 
I said, I'm traveling out of the country. He said, if you don't come tomorrow and meet the minister for internal affairs, you are going to be crazy. And he was already in the lounge. And uh, anyway, of course, I called John. I called the Onesimus and others. And the uh, Onesimus and John. And he drove from here to meet, uh, to meet the, the minister of internal affairs in the morning in Kampara. And uh, and the court remained open. Can you? <clears throat> and because a court has remained open, we have touched. A court has touched on all the laws and the policies on oil and gas governance of this country. If we have our footprint there. And of course, uh, that's why I want to recognize Onesimus. At a court, he's our focal person. And we work very closely, of course, with now Minister of, uh, of Energy. Uh, the, the, the oil companies to make sure that we enact that the laws that this country has put in place on oil are transparent and accountable, but they are also implemented to the latter. And now, of course, over time, we've built trust and confidence, so we work very, very, very well with government and oil companies to the extent that now we meet on a quarterly basis to hold each other accountable. We hold government to account and we hold companies to account and they also hold us to account. And Onesimus, I appreciate that because and that came from John. So John should take that credit. Uh, John, uh, to me, uh, as a chair of our code, you know, inspired a lot of us. I was a defender of our vision, but he was a Pan-Africanist. John was a Pan-Africanist. He did not look at his family, at his uh, clan, at his tribe, at his country. He was a Pan-Africanist. And that's why you have Kenya here, you have and actually, uh, maybe I should do say this, uh, you can qualify it. He touched on most of the environmental laws of the countries in West Africa. Drafted the environmental laws. And no one in a court, our environment and natural resources governance program is a top. And that's, of course, the influence uh, of John. Uh, John, uh, which is personal to me, he was a Msingo, a great Msingo. Hey, was a great Musingo, a giant, a towering Musingo. A Musingo Muraha. And I need to check again and we see Mukunu. Now they check at those whose mother, uh, who's <laughs> half, half, 50%. So John was a Musingo, and I am a Musingo, and it's a coincidence. Don't think that actually you put in a code a Musingo. Coincident, we met, I met John at actually university in Makere University. I was not interviewed by Brondelon, so I finished my memory. I met him, and actually on the opposite side, uh, Professor Tambridge was supporting the restoration of the kingdom in Ankole, and I was opposed to the restoration of the kingdom. But both of us were very close friends. I was very close to Prince Valiche. I worked with him but, as a member of parliament for Kasha. But when he wanted to be a king, I said, ah, uh because -uh. you see, John had forgotten nothing and learned nothing. Because they were single, we were always rivaling. <laughs> the, in Ankore, not here, we were always rivaling. Because they were single, first ruled, were overthrown by the Bachwezi. So, but anyway, uh, I, I, uh, uh, me and John now were on the opposing side. And, uh, but later on, we agreed and we became friends. He became, I think to me, John is a, is a mentor was older than me, but he saw me as his brother, and therefore his children are my uncle. And he told you this. Yes, uh, but, he, but also they were single in this region. There are people who, had, who suffered a lot of violations, human rights violations. In Ankole, they said they stopped people from resurrection. I said, how powerful are these people who can stop others from resurrecting? In Vunyoro, they were even pushed out to Congo. There was a, a, a violation of their rights. In, so they have been controversial, but I'm happy that in Toro, they were then promoted. Of course, uh, the, uh, Mr. Katuram was the first prime minister when the kingdom was restored. He and his Msingo. A proud Katuram, ladies and gentlemen. He was Msingo here. He started the kingdom when they were restored in 19, uh, in, uh, in 93. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> John was a distinguished lawyer and demystified the law. You know, the lawyers are a bit proud people. Uh, but John made law easy 
And I think the people who Uganda, most of them are lawyers. <laughs> people he meet, they are lawyers. He made law easy. He made law uh, uh, humble. And I think, and I think, really, we need to give a round of applause to John Ford, demystifying <laughs> the law and the legal profession. But what is interesting is that people who studied at half, my children also passed here, half, 500. Hey, those of us he supported, when they went to the LODC in Makerere, they were the best. Can you imagine? Yes, we have a standing at the LODC uh, for best performing students from this university. So I don't take, and I was always worried. I knew that LODC would, would actually test the court of students, and they have demonstrated that, and I thank God for John. Uh, I'm born again. Uh, <clears throat> I'm born again, and I don't fear, I am not to say that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I, and I, John is in heaven, I preached to John. I laid my hands to John many times. I anointed John. There's a time, you know, even through his sickness, even his doctor I'm told him, what type of a person are you? He would go in, then come out, and start his life very well. Uh, and I think uh, God was always with him. But I laid several times hands on John. And look, he's older, but I laid hands on and he respected me. And he inspired me uh, to do my PhD. And of course, paid my tuition at the University of Bradford in England. Uh, so he paid. I am here as a, an expert in peace and security because of John. And I've not only used that, I've taught in Makere University many years. I may have been having some of you here, masters, uh, students. I teach at Uganda Christian University also. I'm a senior lecturer. But I have also mediated in very violent conflicts. I have drafted agreements that have ended wars, one, South Sudan which ended the war between UPDF and White Army, but also uh, between the government. So I, I cannot forget that that PhD has been put into use. So I want to thank John. Uh, of course, Onesimus is also my, uh, they sponsored me. An institution sponsored me to be a PhD is not a simple uh, achievement. And the PhD that has been used, isn't it? Uh, I want to end because uh, 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 John wanted to be a president of the Republic of Uganda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think that's why he ran into many problems. Uh, uh, John, you know, John hated the security of Benaisa. Yes, he hated the security of President Benaisa. But also when he ran to exile and he was not, uh, uh, he, he had these intentions. He reached out to General Moses Ali. Uh, to make an alliance uh, their, their own rebel outfit. I, I wish that, the, uh, that Moses R was here. That one you didn't know? Okay. Now, now, now you know. Because now, John, you can't arrest him. You can't. <laughs> it's just, and of course, he's in heaven. He's at the balcony of heaven looking at us, smiling. So, so John wanted to be a president of the Republic of Uganda. And, uh, and uh, he had all it takes to be a president and more. And uh, I remember when he, declared, when he declared and then withdrew it, he said, I think we had a high level policy dialogue at Serena. And he said, let me say this, <laughs> at least, and I want to be arrested. I am now old. Uh, he said, I wanted to be president of the Republic of Uganda, but now I have withdrawn it. I no longer have interest. <laughs> <laughs> and I am now old and I have retreated to start a university. And I think he used most of his time, that uh, the energy, the brilliance that he wanted to use to steer this country, transform this country, to build this university, and he made it a university of the people. <laughs> I want to thank him uh, uh, for that. So, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as a code, we have participated, we have co-hosted this together, we put some resources. Uh, uh, the, 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 next, the keynote speaker is our board member, and uh, maybe uh, he will introduce me, but he's a, is that interesting, he's also John, Professor John Kabudi Paramagambo, he's a professor of law uh, from the University of Dar es Salaam, and got a first class. And he has also been our board member, uh, 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 Onesimus, I think, for, for as long. He has been with us for a long, long time. 
and, uh, and he has been a Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs of Tanzania and then a Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, uh, when he now is a member of Parliament. He's a distinguished person and he is born again. He's a born again. And that has seen him uh, wrong. But above all, he fought, and that one you will not say, it. sorry, me say it, and I, I conclude. He fought in the liberation struggle that removed Idi Amin from power. Up to Koboko. So he was a Mkombozi. And uh, he said, if you see some of the brown people uh, in the north, they could be my children. But that time he hadn't <laughs> given his life to us. So ladies and gentlemen, let's enjoy John. Let's uh, take the vision that John stood for and, uh, and, uh, and transform this country. The best thing you can give your children is education. But the best thing you can give them is good education. At UPU, Chancellor, Vice Chancellor and the team, our aim is to uh, make it accessible, inclusive, but quality. Thank you very much and God bless. Oh, it is my single uh, honor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for reminding me to invite to invite yes, the, the right honorable prime minister of the mighty kingdom of Toro to speak to us. Give him a round of applause.